Hi everyone, welcome back. If you look at my chalkboard, uh, 29 and 30, we're on the very last day, hooray! Um, the first question I will answer is why did I combine 29 and 30, the sponging and the agate wear? Well, here's the sponged piece and I'm just gonna show it to you right from the, get the beginning because I have no video for it. It took me 30 seconds to do this, but in that 30 seconds, I thought I hit record, I didn't hit record, but after I was done, I thought I was hitting stop, but I was actually hitting record. So I recorded absolutely nothing. I mean, I really, I, all you see in the video is I pick it up and I look at it, hmm, okay. And I set it down and then there was four minutes of newspaper and a bottle of Blaze. So I'm sure you didn't want to see that. But anyway, today I'm going to show you the agate wear. Um, uh, it's my third time doing this. Uh, I combined stoneware and my brown stoneware clay, both Amico brands, and I combined them, uh, I put like a, like a hamburger, I had a brown, a white, a brown on top, you know, I made it like a hamburger, and then threw it on the wheel, you'll get to see what I did with that, but I will show you at the end how, how the agate wear turned out. Uh, and um, a little bit more information about the glazing that's going to be going on in the firing for these pieces. So, hope you guys enjoy. change the next time I do this. Uh, I would center it more, you know, the pulling up and the pushing down so that I got more ribs or more uh, streaks through it. And also, I don't know what I was thinking, somewhere along the line, I don't even remember doing it, but I used a sponge to wipe off the inside. Why would I do that? Because look, when you do that, you mix the brown color with the white, the pure white that was down here. And then you mix the white with the brown up here. So it's a little smudged. I didn't even know till I took it out of the, the bisque. I, I, whatever. So it's still a nice bowl. I like it. It's a good bowl. Happy with the final one. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this 30 day project. Um, I learned, I learned a lot. I tried a lot of things I really wanted to try that I never took the chance to actually do. So, um, so that was fun too. Uh, also the bowls, glazing of the bowls. Um, I, the last 20 techniques were actually glazing techniques. The remainder of the bowls are, are bisque. I want to take my time glazing them properly. With the 365 project, I did a lot of, um, it's like, oh, I got the green bucket open and I look at all the cups and I say, who wants to be green? And I go grab them and I go and stick them all the way through. Not as much thought to each cup, but I do want to, I want to put a lot of, um, hey, I do want to put a lot of thought into, uh, <laughs> hello, this is my kitty cat. I want to put a lot of thought into these last bowls so that, um, so that they turn out properly and they turn out well. I want to be a little more conscious of what I'm doing. 
Um, what else? Oh, yes, I have another project coming up. I'm going to start September 1st. Uh, it's called 25 Pounds of Clay, 25 Ways. I'm going to take a pound of clay and make it into 25 different things. Uh, it, it could be a bowl, a cup. Uh, I can throw it. I can hand build with it. Uh, it could be a teapot. It could be whatever. It's just one pound of clay, 25 ways. I'm gonna just in a solid cube. I'm using every little bit. Uh, I'm gonna take all of my scraps at the end, and that's gonna be the final piece, so that I make sure I've used all 25 pounds of that clay. So, um, hope you come back for, in September. I'll give you another intro video later. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me. I'll be bigger when you see me next time. Thanks again. Have